Hi, I'm Natalia. I'm a sophomore at Northern Arizona University studying social work with a minor in Spanish. Pursuing a college education is really important to me because my dream is to be able to help and support and advocate for people through a social work career. And to pursue that dream, I need a degree. I chose to study at NAU because it's a smaller university with a more close-knit community, and I felt that environment best fit my needs. Going to college and earning a degree is one of the best decisions you will make for your future. For me, I know that my degree from Northern Arizona University will open the door to a great job in clinical therapy. Plus, having my degree means that I will earn more money and have a more secure and healthier future. In this video, I'm going to share some helpful tips and information to help you plan for college. But what I want to tell you the most of all is this. You can go to college, and college is a great path to a bright and successful future. I decided to attend university because I wanted to acquire the skills and knowledge necessary to make a difference in the world. Pursuing a college education is important to me because it allowed me to cultivate awareness and knowledge in my field and have vast opportunities out in the real world. I chose to continue my education because there are more opportunities that come when you go to a university. More opportunities when it comes to work, learning, and meeting new people. Attending college means that you are more employable, means that you can learn the skills and knowledge that can help contribute to the world. I grew up with my mother always telling me that education is the greatest equalizer within the Western society. That is exactly how I knew pursuing a college education was the most important thing for me to do because it opens up doors for me and my future goals. Regardless of the type of degree or certificate you choose, completing any education after high school is a smart move for your future. From earning more money to more job options, post-secondary education opens doors of opportunity for your success. It wasn't that long ago that I was in middle school like you, preparing for high school. College seemed far in the future, and honestly, I wasn't sure I understood what college was all about and if it was the right path for me. You may have similar concerns or questions, but you probably have thought about what you might like to do when you are grown up. Maybe you want to be a scientist or a nurse or a computer programmer or a therapist like me. Earning a degree opens the door to your dreams and is one of the best decisions you will make in your future. Plus, many of these jobs require a college degree. As middle schoolers, you will be starting high school soon and college might seem far away, but planning starts now with preparing for high school, being a good student and earning your high school diploma. Arizona's public universities, Arizona State University, Northern Arizona University, and the University of Arizona want you to come to college. They have all kinds of amazing resources to help you plan for college, pay for college, and succeed in college. So how do you start planning for college? It starts with some basic building blocks, exploring your interests and setting some goals. When I was in middle school, I dreamed about being the president. Today, as a social work student, I'm taking classes that let me explore and learn about social justice, philosophy, and even understanding important statistics. Maybe you want to be a teacher or an artist or help airplanes land at the airport. Or maybe you dream about building bridges and skyscrapers or farming and agriculture. Just thinking about what you like to do is a fun and exciting step towards planning for college. What classes do you really like? What subjects and activities do you enjoy? What kind of careers or jobs could grow your interests? What do you dream about doing for a certain kind of job? Take time to explore your ideas with your friends, family, and teachers. Visit with your school counselor. Be curious. Are there people who have these jobs that you can talk to and learn more about their journey? You can find some great ideas and inspiration just from talking to others. There are even some fun apps you can try to explore your interests. You can check out the Me3 app. It's an interactive quiz and is a great place to explore majors and careers that fit your interests and passions. Setting goals is another part of planning for college. Think about a goal you recently set. Did you decide to try out for the soccer team? Maybe you decided to enter an art contest. Or maybe you want to buy a new bike. You probably had to make some plans to reach your goal, right? Thinking about your education is an important goal too, and you can start making plans today. If your long-term goal is college, you can set these short-term goals to start planning. Explore your interests. Talk to your family, teachers, and counselors about your plan to go to college and ask for their help and advice. Set a goal to get good grades. Set a goal to study and complete your homework on time. Those are great tips, Natalia. Hi, I'm Eduardo Morales, and I'm a fourth year senior at Arizona State University studying sports journalism. I decided to attend college because I wanted to hire my education, broaden my horizons, and make connections as well. 
I chose to study at ASU's The Cronkite School because I felt it gave me the best opportunities to succeed in my career aspirations. As you prepare to start high school, here's something you should keep in mind. To be admitted to Arizona's public universities, you need to complete 16 key courses in high school. We call these courses the Sweet 16. To be prepared for college, you need four years of math, four years of English, three years of science, two years of social science, two years of language, and one year of fine arts. Some high schools do not require all of these courses to graduate. So, it is important for students, starting their freshman year, to stay on track with these requirements for admission to Arizona's public universities. Talking to your counselor in high school is important to help you stay on track. So far, we've talked about planning for your education past high school, exploring your interests, and setting goals. But you've probably heard about different options for education after high school. I remember being a bit overwhelmed. Community college, trade school, university. I wasn't even sure what a campus was. There are several options, so let's break it down a bit. First, there are four-year colleges and universities. Natalia mentioned earlier about our state's public universities, ASU, NAU, and U Arizona. Here, you attend for approximately four years and earn a bachelor's degree. Next, there are two-year colleges. Sometimes you hear people reference two-year colleges as a community college. Here, students attend for approximately two years and can earn associate's degrees. Those who earn an associate's degree may later transfer to a four-year college or university. The community college to university pathways also offers students and families tuition savings. Other post-high school college and career options include certificate programs, such as to become an emergency medical technician, vocational or trade school, such as to become a pharmacy technician or electrician, and military training. Talk with your teachers, families, and discover what interests you. Myth. It's too early to think about college. Fact. The steps you take now will determine your college options later. Start planning now. Knowing is going. Myth. I can't go to college because no one in my family has ever gone to college. Fact. You can go. Be the first. Myth. I can't afford to go to college. Fact. Yes, you can. Arizona's public universities, the federal government, Grants and scholarships can help you meet the cost of tuition. Did you know at Arizona's public universities, you can earn your degree to become a teacher at no cost in exchange for teaching at an Arizona school? Did you know that the Arizona Promise Scholarship offers a guaranteed scholarship to ASU, NAU, or U Arizona for qualifying low-income Arizona residents? There are so many financial aid opportunities to help you to go to college. Doing your best in high school and striving for good grades is important. Arizona's public universities award thousands of dollars in scholarships to students based on their high school GPA and course selection. To learn more about the specific scholarships offered, visit the university's websites. One final step for success, start saving for your post-secondary education. I know college seems so far away, but it will be here before you know it. An easy way to do this is to open a college savings account, soon with the help of a parent or other adult. This is an easy first step to save for your future college expenses. Thanks for spending time with me today and learning about how you can start preparing for your education past high school. Remember, you can go to college. College is important to help achieve your career dreams. Planning starts now. Explore your interests, set education goals, and one more thing, college is really fun. I've made great new friends, have discovered so many things I'm passionate about, and have opportunities to do things I never dreamed of. Even though you are in middle school, college will be here before you know it.